The prosecutors Tyler Zanella thought the security cameras on the bus were disconnected. They weren't. He sat in silence as others spoke of his actions. That what he did was intentional, mean-spirited, cruel, and just plain sadistic. The youngest five, the oldest ten. And it was twisted beyond any words I've ever learned. Eleven kids with special needs, most of them with autism, several nonverbal. Day, the ongoing nature of it is absolutely horrific. Physically abused on their school bus by the very adult who was there to keep them safe. Assaults captured by a surveillance camera. Tyler Zanella faced the final reckoning for the attacks during a hearing that featured emotional testimony from the parents of his victims. He sought out children he knew couldn't even articulate, look dad, look what he's doing right now. He's hurting us. Help me, help my friends. And disgust from a prosecutor. Tyler Zanella, whose sole job it was to keep children <coughs> safe on the bus, instead repeatedly hit, flicked, smacked, kicked, tripped, cursed at, pinched, taunted, kneed, pulled the hair of, shoved, and punched 11 children. Asked if he wanted to say anything, Zanella took a pass. No, Your Honor. To be clear, justice will not be served today. So everyone is aware. There's no such thing as justice in a situation like this. And I don't say this lightly, but what Mr. Zanella deserves, this court is not permitted to impose. What the judge could do was give him the maximum, 12 and a half years behind bars. If he stays out of trouble, he could be out in about seven. Some parents were unhappy with the plea deal that prosecutors agreed to. Under it, Zanella pleaded guilty to the most serious charge for each of the 11 victims. That was seven counts of third degree assault, two counts of child abuse, and two counts of harassment. In the newsroom, I'm Kevin Vaughn, Nine News.